What is up guys, Killer Kevin, and today I'm bringing you a new video of City Skylines. Yes, City Skylines. I've been streaming this game here and there, uh, probably once or twice to be totally fair if I'm purely, whoa, holy shit, honest. But uh, I thought I'd give you a rundown and uh, show you my sort of map at the moment. I've called it the Beast Map. And uh, to be honest guys, I don't know whether I should do some videos on this. Uh, I'm not obviously particularly this world, but uh, let's make a video a world uh, from scratch. And let's do it like a series. Let's build up our own sort of village, our own buildings, our, our basically farmland, everything on that. Um, as you can see here, you know, it's pretty beast. Um, shitload of cash, shitload of cash coming in. Residential, nearly 60,000. Um, but yeah, I think we should do sort of, of a small video on this, like a, not so much of a playthrough, but kind of, I don't know, like, why have these people got no water? Oh dear. Sorry. There we go. Okay. Yeah, but sort of like a, uh, maybe like a video on, you know, just, yeah, basically a playthrough. And then we can do different maps, uh, different strategies. Um, you know, we can see how it goes. Sort of like SimCity. I never played SimCity. I was going to do some sort of a uh, playthrough on SimCity. But uh, I didn't really sort of take that, like, grips to SimCity. I played SimCity 3000, I believe. Um, that wasn't that cool i mean that was at school so that was probably fucking yonks ago what is going on with the traffic here bro jesus look how many people are here holy shit why doesn't anyone take this road by the way anyone else find that weird i'm gonna make this a bigger road the small road here i'm gonna make this a bigger road but uh yeah i'll give you a quick rundown of what we got here so let's go into zones as you can see yeah uh, if you do play this game we don't play this game we got light green, which is low residential zone, which is just normal homes. Dark green, which is sort of a uh, really posh zones, which is around mainly the majority around here. Then we've got a high, a low district community, which is sort of like normal shops. And you've got bigger and expensive shop, which is a high district. You've got industrial zones, which is the yellow or sort of the, the tan orange on the screen at the moment. And then you've got the light blue, which is offices. And this other thing here is just a design zones basically so but yeah I'll give you a quick rundown of the strategies and what I'm doing and how I'm doing and everything else we want to have a quick look so basically we've got a industry all the way running along here or the back side away from the residents that are over here which obviously creates us loads of other shit as well and also we got a couple of train cargoes here so we can ship itself in and out of our city also as well some offices just back onto this bit here just because the educational zone just connects onto here as well so obviously the higher educated people will go into the offices and the lower educated people will go into the industry. Um, I don't know how that works. Personally, I'd rather have an intelligent person and a dumb shit working for me. But that's beside the point. And we come back over here. Uh, this is probably the first bit we did round just up along this section here on the left hand side of this actual main road. Uh, we've got a little bit of industry here, not too bad, then offices and a little bit of commercial there, obviously because you know he wants to go out their office and get grab Mars Bar from Tesco's or something. Um, I've got some residential here just to barricade it and just to stretch into the actual main residential. I thought I'd block it off with offices because if it actually industry is too close to homes, it's obviously shit like noise pollution, uh, pollution in general, and just stuff like that really. So it's quite hard. Um, yeah, well, there's uh, commercial with uh, high residential, backing onto even more high residential as you can tell because uh, it is freaking growing around here, it's pumping. The traffic on the road is diabolical. I made a little bit of industry here because obviously the electric electricity, if I show you, works off some sort of a grid. And uh, if one thing is connected to one thing, it spreads and it just it just keeps going like wildfire. So this area at the moment is kind of a bit of a pickle because obviously, as we can see here, clear example, this light blue is not connected to this light blue. So it's technically not connected to the grid. So this will not get power until that or something else is built near that. So I did this for this because uh, obviously for here we can see is uh, water available. Obviously that those two pumps here are sucking up this one and then we got a couple around this side as well. This is our main bank along here which we've got our water pumps here and then our sewage sort of running down this way. The arrow is of course running this way as you can see. It is flowing down river but uh, we've got these beautiful things here which I changed out for these ones here because obviously it was mucking up the water way too bad and as you can see here the water treatment plants decrease the pollution in the water a hell of a lot so we thought we'd do that they're quite expensive though they're 15,000 which may not seem like a lot at the moment because we've actually earned probably about 120 grand 
in this small space of time but oh well as you can see there's not a lot actually going on everything is pretty much uh, safe and secure that's to do with uh, fire departments there's quite a few spread out through the city mainly in the industrial states so because obviously there's a lot more fires happening police departments dotted around here and there in the sort of oh, different zones I'm gonna put a police station here though because that's just weird police station there just to make sure that's zoned out as well uh, but yeah, loads of different things. Education, there's a shitload of uh, schools and high schools and loads of different other things like that. There's also as well, I think there's about three universities on this map, so pretty well educated. And I'm going to plonk one probably around here, because we're going to spend the money that we got this episode. So let's fucking just plonk that uh, here. No, let's put it, put it right there. There we go. Lovely. So yeah, basically it's it's pretty nice, pretty easy. Uh, and then from there, I'm hoping to build some more industry on this side here, which will connect to these main roads as well. Obviously, because as you can see, industry from that road in particular is pretty damn packed. So if we get some more on there, just branch these out for additional options if everyone wants to get over to certain different bits. Uh, same thing on this side as well. If you come all the way over here. Obviously, we've got a sort of road that comes around and branches. I'm trying to make as many ways as you can in in and out of the city. Uh, this particular island I thought I'd take advantage of, so I put a nuclear power plant. And the whole reason I wanted to do that is because I didn't actually want to put a nuclear power plant anywhere near this. Because in my theory, same with SimCity that I played probably years ago, uh, if a building actually goes wrong, it will go wrong and it will destroy so much. So this is kind of like in its own zone. Uh, not a lot of pollution, a shitload of noise pollution, but that backs onto the sort of industry area here. So I think I've strategically placed pretty much everything here got some industrial rounds some more train co cargoes there going in and out it's pretty good I got some actually some um, some of these sort of high-end towers which you can see these sort of uh, things here the leisure ones as you can see and all the other different things like that the big ones the small ones and uh, oh, I've actually unlocked some other big ones as well but yeah when we hit I think 66,000 or 60,000 I think we get something like an airport which would be sick which uh, hopefully I'm gonna put on this side this is going to be uh, more commercial and residential a little bit. Residential here, uh, commercial around here, and then industry to back off to the rest of this road. Then probably if I open up, m up more land over on this side over here where the mouse is going crazy, uh, I'll probably put some more residential and so on and so forth. But this game is pretty fucking huge. Um, 65,000. There we go. As you can see, this pretty much just branches, I think, out and out and out. I'm not sure what else I can actually buy just yet or if I can buy anything actually I'm not sure I think that's it on that one enough, enough. but yeah that's that's pretty much it that's pretty cool we're gonna put some more residential down here screw it I think I might have to get to another limit or a milestone to unlock more land I'm not entirely too sure but there was more options to branch out you see a lot of people are being dezoned and dehoused because obviously the work ethic is not correct in that area so I'm gonna have to tinker around with that but uh, yeah, all in all, pretty damn good map. As you can see, it's 31,000 per, I think, I don't know, however long it is, comparison to this sale. But I think it's at least, I'm going to say, probably 2,000 every five seconds. And as well, I leave the sometimes running on in the background because everything is pretty much covered. Housing zones, fire, uh, crime rate, transport. Uh, the only thing that's a problem at the moment is just seems to be the issue with the traffic in Bark and so that's fine. But yeah guys, if you want to see a playthrough or do you want to see progress on this map in particular or other things, make sure to hit me up with a like and a comment. It is much appreciated. Um, but yeah, let me know how you feel about this. Uh, I might bring out one, I might not. But uh, the positivity of me actually getting one out is extremely high because I am fucking loving this game. But until next time guys, get a kept it and get a get out.